Bye Bye Bright Futures friends, Miss Shannon here. I'm so excited that we're using a Google Classroom so we can stay connected while we're at home. I do have a really simple craft that we are going to do today. I'm going to show you how to do it. It doesn't require very many materials. Most of the things that we're going to use, you probably already have at home. So let's get to it. Okay, so to start, you want to get a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll and you want to cave in the top of it so it looks like this. Now it's time for the decorations. I had some tissue paper that I cut up into strips or I, you can use a magazine or an ad just find maybe a pattern that you like and then cut it out. Okay, grab your glue stick and glue whatever you cut out onto your owl. I'm just wrapping the cut out around the owl and adding glue as needed. And here I'm adding another piece. This time I'm using a tissue paper, but you can use another magazine or a different part in the magazine that you already used. The next step is to color in the top of your owl. You can use markers, crayons, color pencils. It's up to you. Now it's time to make the eyes of the owl. So I found a white piece in the magazine and I'm cutting out a square. And then I'm going to cut out two circles for the eyes. Okay, now that I have my two circles cut out, I'm going to put some glue like right underneath where the ears are. And if you don't have glue, you can always use tape. So I had some orange tissue paper that I used to cut out a small triangle to make for a beak. If you don't have tissue paper, that's totally fine. You can use a white piece of paper and color it orange or yellow. So now I'm just gluing that beak on. Now it's time to cut out the wings. So what I did for this is I grabbed two pages of magazine paper and I cut out a leaf shape pattern. If you want, you can draw this out first before you cut out. This is what mine ended up looking like. They don't have to be perfect, just try your best. So I'm gluing the wings on now, and I'm gluing them on at a little bit of an angle. I'm just bending the tip of the wings a little bit so that it looks like the owl is flying. So the last step is to fill in the eyes. There you have it. Now you have your own little owls. Super easy to make. Don't forget to tune in for more fun activities on our Bright Futures Google Classroom.